we are doing a study on environmental impact assessment on agricultural activity at Agropa in University Malaysia Kelantan. We have conducted two analysis, which are water and water quality analysis and soil analysis. Before we start, let us introduce ourselves first. Hi, my name is Arina Naziha. Hi, my name is Nik Fatih Harani binti Nik Muhammad Kamaru Zaman. Hi, my name is Noor Adila. Hello, my name is Sam Ming Mei. Uh, my name is Dou Wei Hi, my name is Noor Shazilin. Hello, my name is Kong Ziyan. Today, I will introduce the study area of our EIA report, Agopa. Agopa is a location where the students are conducting their agricultural activity and experiments. Therefore, they decide what number of risks apply in the agricultural production to ensure the organism of Agopa are of the treatment of pests. Adopt the utilization of pesticide has created an ideal environment for the growth of agricultural plant. But at the same time, it also creating some environmental damage to the Agopa. Then, we have taken some oil and water samples beside the plantation of Agopa to analyze the impact of using pesticide in Agopa. The objective of this environment impact assessment is to describe the use of pesticide in Agopa of UNK in detail and company which the requirement for carrying out the project. There are, there are a few of potential impact that might cause because of agriculture activity. First of all, we can maximize the utilization of land in Agropa area. This is because University of Malaysia Kelantan offered courses that related to agriculture, which is agrotech. Another potential impact that we can get from agriculture activity that occur in the agro park area is it will involve in research and development. Research and development that will happen in this area is involve agriculture, food security, and also horticulture. In our economy, we are, it, it will increase the business opportunity and also increase the employment. Okay, for the business opportunity, the product they have planted in agro park and PG uh, can be sold, uh, such as corn and garbage. And the, for the product that have been planted uh, can be can can be sold by the student, and the student can create their own business. However, there, there are negative impacts that will happen during the agriculture activity in this area, such as the usage of chemical pesticides and also fertilizer. This is because not all agriculture activity in this area use organic fertilizer. Thus, it will create chemical emission that is hazard to the environment, which will affect the habitat and human in the nearby area. Monitoring is the process of sampling and analyzing specific environmental media such as water, solid and air for evidence and contamination level over time. In the case of water quality monitoring, chemical condition is the key important focusing the presence of oxygen, nutrient and other. BOD is the chemical procedure to determine the amount of dissolved oxygen needed by uh, aerobic biological organism in a body of water to break down organic material in the present in the given water sample at certain temperature and a specific period of time. The next parameter is the COD which is chemical oxygen demand. 
Chemical oxygen demand is an indicate measure of the amount of oxygen that can be consumed by the reaction in a major solution. It is commonly expressed in a mass of oxygen consumed over volume of solution, which is in SI unit is milligram per liter mg over L. Humidity <laughs> 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 is a measure of a degree to which the water rate is transparent due to the presence of suspended solid. The more total suspended solid in the water, the cloudy is seen as the higher the turbidity. The measurement used for measure turbidity is turbidity meter. In terms of water quality, high level of total suspended solid will increase water temperatures and decrease dissolved so oxygen level. Okay, so now here we are at uh, Mulberry Plantation area in Agropa University Malaysia Pelantai. So we are doing uh, an analysis uh, which is the soil analysis to characterize whether the soil in University Malaysia Kelantan is polluted or non-polluted. How we do it is uh, the analysis we've done uh, by measuring the organic content. Okay, so today we are going to do a soil sampling. that we took and the sample will be taken into the zipper bag. This is the first sample. The second and third sample will be taken at different locations. Uh, still here but in uh, at different places. We already took two samples at the uh, places, uh, at the area which the mulberry plant is planted. After the crucible has been cooled down for 30 minutes, we will do it the next. Mitigation is to reduce the input of pesticide to the environment. Develop professional teams regarding pest prevention with lower environmental damage. They need greater guidance on proper disposal of pesticide to better understand the environmental risk. Next, advance an alternative crop protection method. Biocontrol option through augmentation of predators and release of beneficial organism is an important potential that needs to be used. Botanical extract and microorganisms are beneficial to produce high productivity of agriculture. Next, better understanding of the impact of pesticide use. More independent basic research on the impact of pesticide regarding the long-term effect of pesticide formulation and their metabolite on the synergistic effect of multiple residue on human health and ecosystem is required to carry out. As a conclusion, uh, the soil quality and water quality in Agropa University Malaysia Kelantan is still in a good condition and under control. This is because from our observation, uh, the soil and water quality is not polluted.